No, the title isn't a typo. I meant to do this when I hit 100 subscribers about a year ago. I know, I'm slow. For a thousand subscribers, I'll also do a special video. It's without spoiling too much, it's going to be something Barcelona related. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyways, here's a bit of background. Developed by Invincible Studio, the Soccer Manager series is basically the free version of Football Manager. You take control of a team, or create your own, manage your team through matches, buy and sell players, etc. It has its own rating system separate from FIFA, or sorry, EAFC, and there are a few aspects to it. First, you have the player's overall rating. You can view some basic info, including their height and what foot they prefer. Then you have their attributes, which details all their finer stats, as well as a general indication of whether the player is still developing, peaked, or declining. It sounds great, but let me tell you, in the latest iteration of this game, SM25, some of the stats are questionable at best. Let's go over some status ones first. Usually, a player is only classified as declining when they're age 28 or above, and when they've had an off-season or age past a certain point. One recent example is Timo Werner, who hasn't been the same since his pre-Chelsea days, and after hitting 28 years old by SM25, he was classified as declining. The same was done for Patrick Schick, who spent large parts of last season injured. Similarly, Marcelo Brozovic had a peak status in SM24, but declining status in SM25. These are all reasonable changes, even if some of them are a bit harsh. I can at least understand the reasoning behind those changes. But then we have stuff like Andre Onana. If you'll remember, Onana's 2023-24 season was disastrous, and yet not only did he avoid getting a declining status, he wasn't even downgraded. Why? I get that Onana's form did kind of recover near the end of last season, but you could say the same about Sheik. If one gets a declining status, why not the other? It's not only Onana. Luke Shaw also avoided a declining status. And on the other side of Manchester, Kyle Walker did as well. The signs that Walker wasn't the same as before were shown as early as last season, so why wasn't he given a declining status? David Alaba too, despite spending long stretches injured. There's more weird stuff, such as Dybala being a developing player, but that doesn't even compare to the complete madness happening in the Chinese Super League. Yan Junning is still a peaked player despite being benched for the national team and being 32 years old. There's also 35-year-old Wu Xi avoiding a declining status, 30-year-old Li Yuanyi being a developing player, etc. This is a good time to move on to how crazy the overall ratings are. I'll just provide a few examples of the weirdest ones I found because uh, <laughs> there are a lot. Like, if you thought FIFA was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. We have Xie Wenneng being lower than Liu Binbin even though Xie is currently one of China's best players, while Liu isn't even being called up anymore. But this is where Europe stands out, because let me tell you, these have to be some of the strangest ratings I've ever seen. Onana is higher than Vicario. Marcus Rashford, despite having a poor season, is higher than Cole Palmer and Rafinha. Antony is the same as Lamine Yamal. The Yamal disrespect doesn't stop there though because Jack Grealish also has a higher rating. On top of that, Luke Shaw has the same rating as Alfonso Davies and a higher rating than Alejandro Balde. Harry Maguire is higher than Pau Kubarsi. Man, a lot of these are from United players. Raheem Sterling is higher than Dejan Kulusevski. Mason Mount is higher than Brennan Johnson. Bruno Fernandes is higher than Rafael Leao. What is going on? It doesn't stop there though because we also have individual stats. And buckle up because this is where we go from insanity to pure delusion. Holy smokes, where do we even start? Ronald Araujo has miserable pace even though speed is one of his best attributes in real life. Rashford has a weirdly high leadership stat even though he turned down the United captaincy not too long ago. Casemiro has a stamina stat that makes me think Invincible Studio is stuck in his time at Real. Modric has an insanely low pace stat even though he really isn't that slow. Harry Kane has an absurdly high free kick stat even though his free kicks are basically a meme. Rafinha has a weirdly low passing stat. Thought all of that was bad? Well, get ready because now we're covering player comparisons, and trust me, they are inconceivably bad. Bergwijn has a higher dribbling stat than Modric. Bruno Fernandes has a higher leadership stat than Granit Xhaka. Lautaro Martinez has the same penalty stat as Robert Lewandowski. Did they not see him against Atleti? Kai Havertz has a higher control stat than Mateo Kovacic. Maguire has a higher tackling stat than Rodri. Luke Shaw has higher dribbling than Alfonso Davies. What is even happening anymore? Believe it or not, those weren't even the worst ones I found. Now we move on to the truly hilarious comparisons. 
For example, Sun Hyungmin has a lower work rate stat than Wu Lei. Wu Lei, yes, he's one of the hardest pressing players in the Chinese team. But seriously? Oh, there's more. For whatever reason, Harry Maguire has a higher finishing stat than Robert Lewandowski. Yes, you heard me right. I legitimately feel like this was a mistake. He's a center back. Why is his finishing that good? Why? Oh, and the funniest one, but also a complete travesty, except for Almo and Yamal. The entire Barcelona team has a lower creativity stat than Victor Lindelof. This game feels like an insult. And then we get to the worst offender, Antony. Easily the most overrated player in this entire game. Antony has higher control than Sun. Antony has better crossing than Modric. Antony has better long shots than Doku. Antony has better pressing and corner taking than Lionel Messi. I, I don't understand. Did Ten Hag decide on Antony's stats? Because I really don't understand how anyone could rate him this highly. In what world does Antony have better corner taking stats than Lionel Messi? And why are so many United players involved in the worst ratings I have ever seen? Which United fan decided on these stats? It's so ironic as well because Invincible Studio is partnered with Manchester City. There are so many of these, but I gotta stop somewhere. Otherwise, this video will never be done. What do you think about these unfathomable ratings? Let me know down in the comments. Are they worse than FIFA? They are. If you like this video, like and subscribe, follow my Twitter, yada yada yada, and I'll see you next time. Take care.